Hi there, boys and girls. It's Miss Watkins, and welcome to another exciting lesson. Today, we'll be learning about tally marks. Are you ready? Let's go. A tally mark is a way of making a mark to represent a number or an object. And so what that means is a tally mark is a way of organizing information so that it makes better sense to us. And here is an example of how a tally mark looks. It looks like the number one. Let's move on so that you can get a better understanding of it. One tally mark is used to represent one object. What does that mean? Let's take a look at our photo. We have an apple. We have one tally mark. This one tally mark is representing this one apple. So let's move to this row. We have two, one, two apples. And so we will need one, two tally marks. When we move to the last row, we have one, two, three apples. And so we will need one, two, three tally marks. Now, the number five is a little bit different. I'll show you a trick. We have one, two, three, four, five teddy bears. And we need to use tally marks to show these five teddy bears. So let's go. One, two, three, four. And the number five would look like this. And so we made up this chant to help you remember. One, two, three, four, number five shuts the door. Say it with me. One, two, three, four, number five shuts the door. Let's look. One, two, three, four, number five shuts the door. Good job. Let us take a look at this. Photo. This photo is trying to give us some information and they want us to use tally marks to show this information. Now we see one, two, three rows of animals. We have elephants, ducks, and cows. We need to count each animal to find out how many tally marks we will need because they want the tally marks to represent the animals. Let's start with the example. We have one, two elephants, and so we needed one, two tally marks. Let's move to the ducks. Can you count how many ducks are there? Good job. I see one, two, three, four ducks. And so, can you guess how many tally marks we will need? Most definitely, we will need one, two, three, four. Why do we need four tally marks? Because we have one, two, three, four ducks. Let's move to the cows. Count how many cows you see. Good job. We see one, two, three. Can you guess how many tally marks we will need? Excellent job. 
One, two, three. Give your brand a kiss. Remember, tally marks are used to represent objects and numbers. We use one tally mark to represent one object. And do not forget, one, two, three, four, number five shuts the door. Until next time, boys and girls, See you later.